Let's talk about probability and what it is. It is the chance of something happening. So, for example, if I asked you, what's the probability that the Sydney Swans will win the A-League? Well, given that they are a AFL team and don't play in the A-League, we would have to say the chances of that happening are impossible. What about if I asked the probability that the day after Saturday will be Sunday? Well, it's always the case, so that's certain to be the case. So we would say that that is certain. You'll see we've got a bit of a scale or a spectrum of uh, probability. At the bottom end here we've got things that are impossible up to things that are certain to occur. What about the probability that if I toss a coin it will come up heads? Well there's only two options, head or tails. So we'd say that's a 50-50 chance, or another word we could use is an even chance. And you'll see we've placed that right in the middle of our scale of probability. The probability that a dice roll will show two or less. Well, there's six numbers on a dice. Two of them only are two or less. So that's less than half the numbers. So I'm going to say that's unlikely to be the case. And finally, the probability that your birthday will fall on a weekday. Well, five of the seven days in a week are weekdays, so that's fairly likely that your birthday will fall on a weekday. We've got a scale of probability here from impossible right up to certain. We can also use numbers to represent those descriptions. We say if something's impossible, it has a probability of zero, and if something is certain, it has a probability of 1. Something that is 50-50 or an even chance will have a probability of 0.5. And we'll look shortly at how we can calculate those numbers. But here's the little formula we're going to use to actually do this calculation. The probability of something happening is the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Let's look at a couple of examples to see how that works. So the probability of rolling 6 on a die. Okay. Well, the number of successful outcomes is only 1 because there's only one 6 on a die. So we say the number of successful outcomes. So for us, a successful outcome would be rolling a 6. There's only one option on a dice out of 6 possible outcomes because there are 6 numbers. And we put that uh, into our calculator, we get a decimal of 0.17. So the probability of rolling 6 on a die is 0.17. What about the probability of rolling odds on a die? Okay, well, the number of successful outcomes, there are three numbers on a die that are odd. 1, 3, and 5. So the number of successful outcomes is 3. The number of possible outcomes is still 6, that hasn't changed. So 3 divided by 6 gives me 0.5. So it's an even chance, or a 50-50 chance, of rolling an odd number on a six-sided die. Lastly, what's the probability of rolling 7 on a die? Well, there are no 7s on a die. The numbers only go from 1 through to 6. So we'll use our formula still, the number of successful outcomes in this case is going to be zero. There are no successful outcomes. Out of six, a zero divided by six gives us a zero. So that's uh, probability and some examples of how we calculate it. You'll see from all of our answers there that the probability as a decimal will always be between zero, which is impossible, and 1, which is certain. And I can write that as the probability is greater than or equal to 0, and it's less than or equal to 1. Finally, here's one more example, the uh, first example we did, so that for those of you that are taking notes, you can copy down what's on the screen.